All right, so meeting is in session. The first order of business is our Pledge of Allegiance. So you're going to stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. All right, first order of business we have is to vote to approve the minutes from 621, 920, and 104 open space committee meetings. Um, Brian, thank you for sending those yep. over. Um, Aaron, did you have, was the 621? Oh, you know what, I forgot about those. <laughs> okay, we will wait to vote on those. I think the 920 and the 104 were fine, all yeah. in favor? Yeah. Yep. Passing that, okay. Um, can I just minutes. ask real quick, you put them over at the library, right? Copies of the minutes? I put no. a bunch of them over there maybe like three months ago. That, but we that's fine. I just want to make sure that you yeah. guys know oh, a yeah. copy has to yeah. go up there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we will print the 920 and the 104 put at the library. Um, and is there somebody in particular that they go to, or you just go over to the books? No, you should have a book over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just you need to find somebody at the library. There's a book that you just write down, open space and recreation, the dates of the minutes. Okay. And then you put your initials and the date, and then somebody at the library will acknowledge that you. They'll initial it too, mm -hmm. saying yes, you were here, and you put them in okay. the book. Okay. Okay. And you have to bring yourself back to elementary school and use a three-hole puncher for Correct. the first time Correct. in 20 years. And Correct. Fumble with it horrifically. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so we'll get those put over, and then, um, Aaron, you'll, do you want to just email, if worse comes to worse, I can print them and bring them to the library if you don't have time to. No, I can do it. All right. I've been meaning to take a trip over there anyway. Aaron, to email. If that's the case, do you mind printing the notes from 920 and 1040 mm -hmm. Brian's Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, Joanne, I'm so sorry we've delayed you. <laughs> no, no problem. Um, well, okay, so the next um, item on the agenda is to review the OSRP survey response so far. Um, and then I, Liz was gracious enough to print all this stuff for all of us. Um, so we can review this and then um, just hear from Liz how it's been marketed to date so far. I know that when we walked in downstairs, I saw the the survey on the table, so that was really nice. Um, okay, so Joanne, I'm gonna kick it over to you. Awesome, thank you. Um, yes, so I'm not going to spend any time talking about the responses for all the meaty questions in the survey. Um, the survey is open till the end of the year, so things could still you know, change quite substantially, so I don't think it's worth going into that. But I did send Liz the whole thing so far, just I'm always super interested in kind of early results. So if you guys, you know, want to poke around a little bit and explore, then, you know, obviously feel free to. So the the most important thing right now, um, Liz will tell you about how she's been promoting the survey in the community. Um, we do have at the moment um, 413 responses. Um, we did have 21 people who said that they do not live, work, or own property in the town. So those people are excluded from the survey. So really we have 392 kind of valid responses. Um, that's a pretty decent number um, for a small community. So I think that's, you know, and you've still got, you know, two months to go to even increase that. So I think it's, you know, and it's going in the right direction. I think it's a great return for how long it's been out so far. Um, the parts that I just wanted to briefly highlight before Liz tells you about what she's done to promote it um, it's just the demographic section, starting on page 35. So if you look at question 15, the age distribution of the survey, and accompanying that, also you should have a um, sort of a, a census printout as well, too, that shows the census age distribution in the community. If you look at this, the distribution in the survey is actually pretty good. Um, however, there definitely is a need to try and get some more people between the ages of 18 and 34 to respond. In particular, they're a little underrepresented in the group right now. Um, so that's just something to consider when you guys listen to how Liz has promoted it and kind of consider what more could potentially be done. 
The other um, demographic information, so question 16 was about um, folks who had children under 18. We got over, um, over half who said they did. Um, adults age 60 living with you, we got a good amount of those too. Um, folks who said that they or someone they live with has a disability handicap or chronic disease, we actually got about a quarter of respondents who said yes to that, so that's really good. So those I feel pretty good about. Then question 20 on page 41 about gender. So about 72% of respondents to the survey identify as women. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, in surveys generally, men always tend to be kind of less inclined to answer surveys. I don't know if it's... Um, uh, a social thing, a cultural thing, or maybe it's something to do with the way materials are promoted. I don't know, but it's not uncommon to see a lot more women than men in survey responses, especially in the communities that I've worked with in our region. Um, but that's just something else to consider is, you know, when you're talking about further promotion of this, is there any way that you might be able to specifically target more men? Are there any men's social clubs in the community, for example? Um, that could potentially serve as a channel. Um, the veterans groups also, although there's obviously women in those as well too, there is a lot more men. Um, and I believe that was the last, yeah. And that was the last uh, demographic question. So really that's it. Um, so it's looking good. Um, those are just kind of my two tips for further promotion. If you can kind of think of other ways to get um, men to respond as well as folks sort of between 18 and 35. Um, we're, we're, we're looking good, I think, for the end of the year. Awesome, thank you. Um, Liz, kind of piggybacking off of Joanne's um, point, can we, I don't know if we can, if this would be our us doing this or you doing this, but I wonder if we reach out to like the Lions Club, if they could post a QR code or something there. Um, if you have a contact there, my contact. Ken Coyle would be who I would. You know what, I can send it to Ken. If you don't mind, nope. that would be great. Um, and I'm um, secretary on the Republican Town Committee. I could probably send it to our members and then I can reach, find out who the Democratic Town Committee person is and see if we could send it to their members as well. Okay. Um, just I'm just thinking of like groups that are active that People are on email and may respond. I think Terry know. Mays is on that. On de the Democratic one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that she's a chairman or anything, but um, okay. I can get her email address actually. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yep. Um, I was also going to ask um, the kids with Abington celebrates when they do their Christmas oh, yeah. celebration. Oh yeah. And Ken runs that too. Yep. Yeah. So um, I usually give it to Kelly Johnson because she ends up kind of being responsible for, um, you know, any kind of dissemination of information. I know for Oktoberfest she had a bunch of other stuff, but she put this in it with it as oh, well. Oh good. Okay. So that QR code got um, the flyer with the QR code got distributed there. Okay. Um, it got distributed at the election. Yep. They were actually handing them out. Um, that was good. Somebody that was, was handing good. them out as they yeah. left. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And there was also the box was there, and they could it. take yep. the paper survey. Yep. And I think I got five or six responses that day. Okay. Um, the senior center is winner winner yep. chicken dinner on <laughs> filling out the, the paper surveys. Um, yeah. I had a couple downstairs, and then there's a box at the library. Okay. Um, I laminated the QR code, the flyer with the QR code, and that went to um, Green Street, three different places at Island Grove. And I'll tell you, I probably will not go up and do that alone again in the middle of the day. Oh my gosh. At Island Grove, right? Really? At Island Grove. Really? Wow. Yeah. I walk up there. I'm I'm so well, high. be very careful. Oh God. I just had this kind of crazy man come over and he's like, What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm putting up a survey. And then he kept asking me questions and I'm like, Well, you can just look at the survey. <laughs> and he's and I told him what it was for and everything, and he was like, it seems like you don't want me to tell you don't want to tell me what's going on. And I'm like, <laughs> No, 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 I just don't want to have to spend a lot of time doing it. And then he started talking about people with drug problems over by the Girl Scout house. And I'm like, you know what? I'm peacing out, buddy. Sorry. I got to go. So um, it's on the snack shack. It's on the sign that says Island Grove Park. And then it's on one of the trees. 
So on the uh, Lake Street side, it's in two places going in, and then right. on the other side, it's on the yeah. snack shop. Okay. Um, it's at Chestnut Street at Leadler Field. It's at Arnold Park. I had to tape it to a um, lamp post because there's no real place to post it. Yeah. Um, the track in the Millennium Complex, it's on the back of the sign that says track is closed. And uh, Griffin Dairy, I put one up, and then they told me to leave flyers so people could take them. So oh, I did that as well. In the library box thing there? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Do so... The um, only other thought I was thinking, based on what Joanne was saying about trying to get the younger demographics, can we post one where the football games are? Is there like a stand over there that where people buy tickets and we can put it, put it like the laminated QR code up? Um, I don't know if that. If I don't know if I did that school. or not. I I know I thought about that. Yeah. The the gate um, where they take the money. Yeah. yeah. Um, and maybe I didn't because it's more school property than town property. Yeah. Like at the parks, I was comfortable doing that. Right. Yeah. I wonder um, if the school would take it because I mean it would be nice for the kid for like, right. the younger the high school age at least to take the survey. Right. You know, it's their community too and if they're gonna be living here. Um let me reach out to Peter and Felicia. Okay. And see if they have a way to disseminate it. Okay. Um I know in Avon, one of the most popular ways that we got responses was actually by flags being sent home with children. Um, okay. I don't remember if that was through the high school or through the, the lower grade levels, but I know that was one of the big ways that they got a lot of their responses. The other thing to think about too, um, and Liz, this might be more for committee members to kind of do as well, but also yourself. Um, the um, are there any businesses in town that kind of tend to attract a younger demographic? I'm thinking like cafe, brewery, nail shop, salon that might, you know, be willing to. A lot of businesses, you know, don't want to participate or anything like that and stuff. But if they, if you can think of any friendly ones, then it's absolutely worth doing too. Okay. Anybody want to take one up to the brewery? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they'd be open. Yeah. District, drop one, huh? District 10. District 10. All right, if you want, I'll laminate a bunch more. Yeah. I only did what I yeah. um, no, did, fine. but I'll be happy off. to do that yeah. and then they can get dropped off. Yeah. Um, and, um, thanks, Roberta. Yeah. District 10, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything, Any? is there any other breweries in Abington? No. No. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's any other... Maybe the Abington Ale House would let us put it up. Yeah. And maybe, you know, even at the... Or maybe through their, like, social media, too. Like, you might want to talk to them. Have a look at maybe, like, their Facebook or Instagram accounts and see if they post community stuff, because maybe then they'd be, you know, willing to promote something in their community. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So that's a potential pathway, too, is just sharing it on their um, social. Okay. Okay. Um, I also plan to... Uh, they're doing a huge Veterans Day celebration down at the Senior Center, but it's for everybody, not just mm -hmm. the old veterans, yeah. it's for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to um, get some down there. I'll talk to Adam about that, but I'll be fine. And I'll do both. I'll do the flyers and I'll do the paper ballots because they're actually already down there. So. And that's on the 11th, right? Yes. Okay. You would think I remember he just sent me a little flyer. Well, I saw it on the door, on the front yeah, door. Yeah, he just put all of that up today. Okay. Um, okay. All right. That's fantastic. I think, I mean, it seems like we're in a great place. I mean, like you said, this is, so far it's been a good response. And if we can, I mean, I'd love to see at least 500 responses before the survey closes, you know. So we're, and we're close to it. I mean, we're at 392. So yeah. I think with the additional flyers, um, you know, in a couple of places, it'll yeah, be maybe the schools if they yeah if, if the, the schools, schools will let us do it. I think that would be great. <laughs> but um, you know. even and uh, maybe even like to the seniors in I don't know like if there's government clubs over there or like community clubs at the high school where it would be worth. I, I'll ask that because I actually am trying to get a student to do the. Um, the MVP um, committee with or us. Or a political science class. I don't know if they offer that as an elective. 
the professor might just want his students to do this as a learning exercise. Right, that's what right. I was thinking. I was thinking like it We're could be part of their, their part Yeah, of like their... the National Honor Society, like right. something in there. Yeah, or key club or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can ask Peter and Felicia. Okay. And then is there, in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts is private clubs in the, within the town? Or are they just completely separate affiliations? Um, I know Chris Schultz, who's our um, health agent. Yeah. Um, has a Boy Scout troop that he... They're going to be down um, collecting food, too. If we could get oh, yeah. the flyer to them, that would be probably good, too. That's for the this post Saturday. office, right? This Saturday? Is yeah, that the post Saturday. office drive? Yeah, but it sounded like we're dropping it off someplace. I forget what it said. Okay. It's on the screen. Um, Did we lose Julian? And actually, that's another place, too, is at the food pantry. Yeah. We can put some flies down there. Okay. They can put them in the boxes. Yeah, those are great ideas. The only other thing that sometimes happens is um, flyer drops just, you know, at people's doorsteps. If you have the resources to do that, that's usually labor intensive, obviously. So that doesn't happen too often. Um, but it sounds like, you know, these, these are all good ideas and you've still got two months. So looking yeah. good. Yeah, I think this should be sufficient. Yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah I think and, so. Liz, if there's certain things you want us to do, obviously Roberta said she'll take them to District 10 and the Ale House. Anything yep. I can with, I'll help you. I'll still think Spread of them around. other places. Yeah. yeah. I'll reach out to you. I'll be I'll... out of work by 2.30. So okay, great. Um, I'll laminate a bunch of them yeah. next Monday. Okay. I'm on Friday and yeah. I have a meeting Monday night, so I'm... Yeah, yeah. No no so I'll get all of that done and then yeah. I'll do that on Monday and uh, shoot you an email and then you can okay. come and get them anytime. Sure. That's fabulous. Fantastic. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Um, Joanne, I think, do you guys have any, anybody else have questions for comments for Joanne? No, no. looks good no. to be good. All right. We thank will let you. you free. All right. Thank you very awesome. much. Thank you so much. We'll be in. Yeah, thank you too. Bye. Thank you. Thank all right. See you guys later. You guys right, have anything Liz, else for me? You. No, I think no, that's thanks it. Thanks for all we'll, that. We'll, I think Appreciate we'll do it. a recap with her again probably. I would say in the new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't yeah, need yeah. to do another one yeah. until. Yeah, then. I mean, if you guys okay. want to have a meeting in December and talk about your other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but with Joanne. Yeah, we don't need to have her back until. Yeah. Um, oh, when the survey. Really, closes, the like survey's it. complete, and she gets all the data together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so right? probably, would we do that? February. I would say probably February. Yeah. Okay. In February. Okay. And, and did you have any um, CPA articles that you were going to submit for? Um, I think they're processing the first phase of the application now. I don't think we did. Okay. Yeah, we thought we had to wait anyways, didn't we? Yeah, that was what I thought. I thought sure we had we to had wait until the OSRP was, was in place. Well, I, I think for the signs and all of that stuff, well, yes, 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 yes. For any kind of land acquisitions or yes, all of that stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah no, we haven't researched in place. Yes. We haven't researched yeah. the signs and such. Yeah. We haven't gone deep down that, that road thought. yet. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So thought. Right. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, Liz. Right, Appreciate it. You guys have a great night. Thank you, you too. Too. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks. Um, okay. So let's keep moving on. We're chugging along here. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda is vote for committee positions. So we, um, it's been over a year with the positions that we have. Brian joined us late, there was only three of us. Um, so right now for chair, I'm in the chair position, Roberta's vice chair, and Aaron is secretary. Um, I know you kind of have a lot on your plate, so the thought was I would nominate Brian for secretary, you're open to yes. that. Yep. Um, and we can, Roberta and I can stay put if you want to just be able to be an active member. I'm good with my position. <laughs> unless you want to be on, unless you want to be a member, a, a position. I just felt like you, you were. Do you want to be the other one? I'm all set. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, good with either. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll nominate you. I mean, we can do that. We can switch the two of us. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't much. Yeah, yeah, there really isn't much. You don't have to do notes or anything, yeah, yeah. and you don't have to do an agenda. Be coach, yeah. <laughs> if I can't be it. All right, so, yeah. I, so I nominate Brian um, for secretary. Uh, yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All those opposed? Okay. So, new secretary is Brian. 
Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Okay, and, and then... I'll nominate Aaron for um, co-chair. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Are you in favor of that? Aye, yeah. Okay. Well, there will be vice chair, right? Yeah, vice chair. Vice chair, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's all the best spot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aaron, spa. <laughs> new vice chair is Aaron. And then I'll nominate Nikki for chair. Perfect. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Awesome. And Nikki stays chair. And then next year when we do this again, Brian, if you want to be chair or vice, we can, we'll shuffle things around. Typically there's five people. We're still missing a person. So yeah. it's kind of hard because in the past we've only had the three of us. So the three of us were three positions. Right. You know? We should give a little plug to the thousands of people watching. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to volunteer for open spaces, we still have a seat available. Um, okay. All right, so fantastic. So new secretary is Brian, new vice chair is Aaron. I will stay chair. Um, for vice, the only thing that you would need to do is if I don't have time to do an agenda, I'd ask you to do it. But pretty much I bring my laptop so that I can do it tonight and we can be done with it um, for going Before forward. Before get up, Aaron, can you let me know when you're going to go to the library so I'll tag along with you and hopefully yeah. we can. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. If you want to plan for it, before the next meeting, we'll, we'll go like 15 minutes before. Okay, that works for me. Um, Okay, so next on the agenda, we have future discussions. Can we create trail maps and post them on the abington.gov open spaces page? Question um, mark. I think we've been kind of talking about this. I would like to do that right now. I don't know. Well, I, I honestly haven't had time to go do create trails. I don't know if you guys run or create your own trails through like a running app or anything like that. Um, what were your thoughts on this? Well, I was one? thinking, um, initially I was thinking if we got the, if there was high school graphic design or photography students that they could take this on as a project as part of their class. Okay. But what I could do, I was thinking, I didn't get a chance to do this yet, but I could do this before the next meeting, is make a mock-up of what I think it could look like. Okay. Using maybe Griffith's Dairy Farm, because that's a pretty contained trail network. Yeah. Um, just give an example, and if we like that, then we could reach out to the high school and say, hey, this is what we kind of like to do. Does any students have any interest in doing this? That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, I have sort of an idea in mind, and I can then show them what I use to create it in case. I think you can do it with free programs. I don't think they, as long as they have a phone that has a GPS yeah. in it, I don't think you actually need to buy any software to do this. Okay. So. And they may even have, I mean, I, mean, I know they have they, the track yeah. club, but, or track sport but they might have a running club or there might be a running club right. in Abington that may already have some trails and um, um, tracking already done on their phones that they may keep I don't know I don't know but um, okay so for the next meeting you'll have a sample to, yep. to share with us okay cool um, can we include AHS photography club so next uh, sorry next point can we include AHS photography club to take photos of existing open space and create a slideshow to put on the abington.gov open space page. Um, yeah, I think that's a great option too. I don't know, um, I don't know anybody at the school or anything to do with any of their clubs. Um, yeah, I don't either, but I feel like maybe we should, once we figure out what we want to do, do with the trail map thing, maybe we reach out to them in one email and say, this yeah. is what we're looking to do. Do you have any student? We want to involve students. Do you have any students that would be interested in this or clubs? Yeah, and you know something. This could be. I don't know if they still need community service hours. It would definitely fit that requirement. Um, service. National Honor Society would, I think. Hours. Yeah, because we could give them community service hours for doing these yep. things. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. So we'll combine. So we'll re-review. Um, after the next meeting. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. My thought was to have the trail map include a couple photos of the place. So right. almost it's one thing to do yeah. collectively. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, honestly, if, if, if there are students that are actually putting the trail map together um, and they go and visit the spaces, they could take the pictures on their phones. Yeah, and absolutely. Yep. Okay. 
that's what I'm going to do, take pictures on my right, phone. I know. For this, yeah. for the demonstration um, one at least. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Um, second to last, select future meeting dates. Um, do we want to set a day slash a day per month going forward? So for example, like with the RTC, we meet the last, the fourth Wednesday of the month, yeah. or the last Wednesday of the month. We, I think we say the fourth Wednesday of the month. Um, but we could say the last whatever of the month or first of the month. Like what, what do you think is the most convenient for you guys? I think the fourth Wednesday of the month. Because then we can kind of, <laughs> yeah, I agree. If you guys are good with that. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Other than And then December, if we have to change by month. No, you know, right, something right. Comes up. Um, and to be, uh, yeah, December. No, December we, we could do. Um, well, to be honest, I don't know if there's really anything pressing to meet about besides yeah. um, that. Do we want to wait to do that in the new year and take the month of December off? What do you guys think? I'm fine with that. I Maybe. think it's good. Take it off and then. Right, and then we'll in January we do like the second, we'll do the second week in January, like the 10th, Wednesday at the 10th. Yeah, like, or maybe we can touch base with um, Joanne and see when she would have results and find a meeting around that. Yeah, we can. I think. But I think. Unless we're gonna do two meetings, or maybe one in January, one in February, that would work. For sure. Yeah. Because we'll do the monthly after that. Yep. I was just thinking maybe for December we take the break because it's quiet right now. Yep. We don't have too much going on. Um, if we want to meet, we can we can meet again, but. Um, the, I would say for the, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, when she's going to have the. I was going to keep the January meeting maybe flexible for now mm -hmm. and see if, if she has the results there. At some point in January, we could do it with that. Well, we could do, we could do, um, if we were to do the fourth, I see what you're saying. If we could do the fourth Wednesday in January as our next meeting, that would give her four I weeks think give to her enough analyze time. the results. Yeah, that's, yep. And then from there, we can go forward on the fourth Wednesday of the month. Does that work? Yep. Okay. So next meeting will be this? January. 24th um, going for at 530 <laughs> going forward we'll plan fourth Wednesday of the month at 5:30 p.m. I think that's good timing for eventually reaching out to the high school because you don't want to do this type of stuff in, with snow on the ground and stuff. Right. So if we decide we want to go forward with that in the end of January, then you've given them a couple months before we get into spring and better yeah. weather for doing it. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. Uh, all right, email Joanne with the next date. Okay. All right. Um, and that's all I have. Anything else that you guys can think of we want to bring up before we get rocking and rolling? No? All right. Anyone want a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Okay. I'll second. All right. We are adjourned. Thank you, Abcam.